The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 was spotted a couple of days ago and renders started emerging from very trusted sources. We get leaks of new iPhones and it looks like the LCD iPhone bezel won't be that bad. And Microsoft is really trying to revamp their Andromeda project very soon. I'm Jaime Rivera and just a reminder, thank you so much for your support with the Spanish Pacanao Diario. There is a link up here if you want to watch the video as well. This is Pacanao Daily. The official news today begin with deals. The LG G7 ThinQ continues to be one of those really good phones that I found to be a little pricey. So it's currently $120 off on B&H, meaning $630. Would I buy the G7 ThinQ at that price? I definitely would right now. Color options are only silver at B&H. More colors coming soon. Now let's talk about Oppo. The company is huge in China and other countries around Asia. But uh, everybody asks, like, when can we get that Find X, for example? And, uh, well, the UK has just seen more than 20 phone brand names from Oppo being trademarked. So it seems that it's very imminent that Oppo is going to launch its own sales in the UK, which is awesome. Uh, we're just not sure when, but we'll keep you posted. And we also don't know if the Find X is going to make it to that launch. Now let's talk about Andromeda, that whole Microsoft courier sort of foldable tablet design that never really made it. We hear that Microsoft ditched the project. Now there are rumors that the company is planning to launch it probably next year. The reason why they ditched the project in the past is because the company felt that the technology just wasn't there and they didn't want to tarnish the Surface branding with a product that was mediocre. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for next year. Hopefully somebody figures out tablets differently. Now let's talk about iPhones, particularly the design of the display. Uh, we heard rumors that the bezels on the LCD iPhone were going to be terribly large. Now we've got leaks of the three panels, iPhone 10 2018, iPhone with the LCD screen, we'll call the iPhone 9, and the iPhone 10 Plus. And to be fully honest with you, it seems like if the bezels of the OLED iPhones are getting smaller, and then this LCD iPhone is just going to have the same bezels of the current iPhone 10. That makes a lot of sense. I think that would be cool. I wouldn't mind bezels that size. I already deal with them with the iPhone 10 and they're, you know, they're inexistent for me. But uh, we'll see if that ends up happening over time. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, there were leaked images of the company's uh, mobile CEO sporting the phone in the wild. It makes sense. I mean, we're a couple of weeks from the launch. So yes, but now we've got Evan Blast chiming in with renders of the phone. Yes, it seems the S Pen is going to have a different color. It's going to be yellow. Uh, the design looks interesting and everything but one thing. And it leads me to today's question. What do you think about the placement of that fingerprint scan? or if anything, not the placement, but the size of it. Looks kind of awkward to me. I hope it doesn't hinder the user experience, but uh, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion, and I'm hoping those camera lenses don't look like somebody's winking at you. We'll see. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocketnow Daily up here and Pocketnow with the audio. There's a video in Spanish down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.